I uh, went to school, graduated, you know, for a brief background here. I got out of school, started dealing drugs, running with the wrong crowd. Uh, I was the kind of person, if you wanted something done, you give me enough money, I could see it could happen. So I wasn't a very nice person. Married and divorced uh, once due to drug involvement and drug activity. Uh, so, that right up there plus. Um, uh, had several accidents over the years. I'm pretty blessed. I put a bullet through my leg on accident, went in between the femur and femoral artery. I've been cut quite a few times. Uh, no broken bones. I've had like five stitches, had a bunch of major things happen. In uh, 2007, a 17-year-old boy that I had uh, basically was a stepfather to, you know, or a godfather, he uh, been with him his whole life. He got killed in a car accident. And um, on that day, I was uh, very angry with the day we buried him. And uh, I was hurt, you know. And uh, I guess I wasn't getting enough attention myself, so I basically fell up. So, um, I got mad at someone, you know, I screamed, there's no such thing as God, leave me alone, was my words. Uh, Psalms 917 says that uh, the wicked shall be turned into hell and the nations and all the nations that forget God. You know, I thought that sort of fit. I got in an argument with Tanya, went and did some math, drank some beer, you know, had a good old time. You know, self-pity took in and, you know, it was like, a, you know, well, I'll just show them. So I went and tied a noose. Made a noose, hung myself. I was dead. I was so dead when they cut me down, my body had turned black. I thought it was about a 45 minute experience. Well, it was about a five to six hour experience. I was dead and should be, shouldn't have any brain activity or anything at this point now, still. Um, when I died, I went to a very dark place. It, uh, I could, uh, to try and give you a visual, I could kind of see like, Mounds, like cinders smoldering, was about what I could see. There was a good strong smell of sulfur. My face and eyes was burning bad. I was trying to find water, which I wandered around, but there weren't, there wasn't any. Um, the bad thing is, I guess the good thing is, I didn't fall into the lake of fire, but the bad thing is, where I was at, there was these uh, creatures, six to eight feet tall, had razor sharp teeth, razor sharp claws, they breathed fire, um, and they attacked quite a bit. And the bad news is, if you go there, I seen the flesh burn off my arm to the bone and felt it, and as soon as they would stop, it would quit. The pain would, but it was extreme when it was happening. Um, side ripped open, you know, the same thing, over and over, this is continual. It did not stop the time I was there. And, uh, you know, finally I just gave up and, and at, at the end whenever I gave up and, and, and curled up into a ball and gave up is whenever I started coming back. But um, to uh, add some scriptures to that in, in Revelation 16, 7 through 12, it says, uh, And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, the, even so, the Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. And a fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat and then blasphemed the name of God which hath power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. Well, I just told you that I was burnt. So that kind of fits in there, I think. And then it goes on to say, And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness. And they gnawed their tongues for pain and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores and repented not of their deeds. It's dark. It's very dark. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be be prepared. Well I was looking for water too. Couldn't find any. So I guess it's kind of one way I can interpret it. You know, it sort of has meaning there and I could I found in Revelations where it's kind of sort of sort of fit in. Now where my body was at back home where they had cut me down when all this was happening to me I was sounding like a uh, where I was at I was making these deep uh, well screams, guttural sounds and stuff like a uh, wolf that was caught in a uh, trap chewing his own leg off. 
Well, and while they were bringing me back, I was doing the same thing apparently. And my, my body was. And uh, they uh, took them 45 minutes to do me. I sort of whipped four cops during the thing, so got in a little trouble. Uh, got to the hospital, they ran an EKG and all kinds of tests on me and stuff. No brain damage. Uh, I carried a scar around my neck for a couple years, about a half inch wide from the rope as a reminder. I uh, heard several people during this. People I hadn't heard from for years had called me up and, and was angry at me and such. But uh, I, uh, it's all good now because I'm back, you know, and I'm, I'm got back on the right side of God. So as Brother Hagen said, when I go now, I know where I'm going. Amen. I'm not going back to hell. And I, if any of you don't believe there's a hell, well, let's say that you don't want to find out there is because it's, it's not a good place to go. Amen. Um, I, uh, you know, you think your life is insignificant, but you don't realize that uh, all the people your life affects whenever you do something like that. You really do see the people that your life does affect. And uh, this wasn't my first attempt. I did it once before, just a few weeks before that. And it was more pleasurable experience. I will tell you about that real quick. I put a cable around my neck and the cable shouldn't have snapped, but it did. But before it did, I was in a very calm, soothing place. It was just bright. And I heard a voice say, it's not your time. And I came back. Well, then a couple of weeks later, I tried it again. You know, so stupid as me. I thought for a long time that was to teach me a lesson. But I've learned, uh, I believe since then, it's not to teach me a lesson. It's to teach all of you a lesson that uh, there is a bad place you can go if you're not where you're supposed to be. And you don't want to go there. Um, that's basically it. Uh, my story's online here. That's church. You can read it if you want. There's more to it than that. But um, thanks to Pastor Ken for whipping him for love God and everything. Him calling me and just bugging me to come back to church and all, or come to church. I probably would still be going down a very bad road. And where that said, that scripture he read earlier said that uh, men, that uh, if you're not with the light, you're full of darkness. Well, I was very full of darkness. Had a lot of anger and, and stuff, but uh, I'm sorry to the ones I've pained and hurt over the years. And uh, that's about it. Mm -hmm.